Peace be with you all and welcome to the channel. My name is Trevor. Very grateful to have you here. And today's video is going to be my top 10 picks for Father's Day. My kids are taking a nap right now, so I'm using the time to film this quick video and go over a couple of great gift ideas or just something I would recommend picking up if you yourself are a father. So first one, Belkum Classic Match, a clone of Polo Green. You can get this for around 10 bucks from Amazon and Walmart. Really beautiful sort of pine forest greenery with a powdery tobacco really masculine vibe going on underneath of it rugged outdoorsy and like i said a great last minute gift idea because you can just run to walmart and pick it up so that is belcom's classic match another cheapy john varvados the eau de toilette you might be able to get at your local department store they sometimes have these on the racks there this is going to run you around like thirty dollars if you can get it at a discounter and it's really a nice aromatic leather fragrance very office like in that sense but then it has this edge to it that is composed of some dried fruits in the form of dates that really make this an, a unique fruity offering but it stays incredibly masculine and commanding I would say something really unique in no other fragrance that I've smelled smells anything like this except for maybe the flankers such as vintage I think this one's a little bit of a safer option and less polarizing than its vintage flanker however but perfect for a man in his 30s such as a father next we have Guerlain's Heritage this is the Eau de Toilette. Hard to come by this one on the discounters at the moment when I last checked, but you, it's still in production at Guerlain's website for right around $145, $150. Shaving cream, sandalwood, and rose is what you get here. A really elegant barbershop style fragrance with a autumnal kind of hue to its color tones, I would say. Something that I loved wearing in the autumn, but I think the name Harry Taj captures a little bit of that lineage of being a chain of a father and children both yourself with your own father and your own offspring. This is just a fragrance that I think does a really good job of honoring a sort of lineage pattern in that way and being named Harry Taj. And it just has a really clean barbershop appeal for a father who is commanding of respect and just somebody that is dignified, which I think the barbershop genre does a good job of casting that aura over a person. And then next we have a really nice woody fragrance. Cypress is the main note here. This is Tom Ford's Costa Azura Parfum. I think this is somewhat of a really grown up take on the Aqua de Joe DNA. That DNA being really great for men in their 30s and 40s because it was something that kind of defined their generation when they were coming up with fragrance. And so this being a really upscale version of that, it sort of moves away from the beachy coastline and gets up into a forest that's overlooking the waters. You kind of get that marine salty air vibe, but not quite aquatic. It's there, but it's mostly green and woody with the cypress being the main player. Really awesome stuff though. Long lasting, a little bit of an ambery hue going on that kind of matches this gold presentation more so than being a, an outright aquatic. And just because it has that really regal feeling woody tone to it, I think this is great for a father being somewhat of the king of the household. So that is Tom Ford's Costa Azura Parfum. Moving into another Parfum flanker, Blue de Chanel Parfum. This is the most mature, dark, rich, and, you know, worthy of respect flanker in the Blue de Chanel line. I think this is going to be great for dads as a gift because the DNA is pretty likable and easy to pass off on somebody just being a ubiquitous smell good scent profile. And the addition of lavender in here, I think, classes it up a little bit and makes it a more classic feeling than some of the other modern takes with the EDP and the EDT in this line. Again, Blue de Chanel Parfum, a little bit pricey, but if you're willing to go that extra mile for dad, I think this is a safe option for a gift and just a really must try at least fragrance for a enthusiast if you're planning on getting it for yourself. Next in the designer realm, Eau Sauvage Parfum 2017. I wore the 2012 flanker, which is a little bit more myrrh heavy than the citrus heavy like this one, to the delivery room for both of my children's births. But this is my scent of the day today. Really nice sparkly citron, a 
bit of woody citric elements coming in from an Alamy resin as well. So this is a very resinous fragrance. The lavender in here is very creamy and barbershop-esque, so I would put this in the fougere category. And then there's this bit of Alamy resin added sweetness that kind of, to my nose, comes off as a bit of a black licorice. So you get this really woody black licorice shaving foam, sparkly citrus. Awesome stuff, really classy, regal, something that just gives an air of sophistication to a person. And one of my favorites in my entire collection, that's Eau Sauvage Parfum 2017, right around the $100, $110 mark if you're planning on picking it up for dad. Next one, we have Duck de Vervins à l'extreme. You can find this at, I think they have a tester on FragranceNet right now without a cap for right around 100, but you can get it for like 95 on eBay from some trusted sellers at the moment. Last time I checked, hard to find this one at most discounters. I actually got this bottle that I have here on the perfume spot though in their outlet section for 50 bucks. So really great score for this one. I think you can kind of catch deals like that from time to time. But what this is, is a really nice soapy sporty fragrance. It has a little bit of a 1980s aesthetic appeal to it, but in a regal way. So it's like a regal sporty fragrance, even though that's a little bit of a oxymoron you could think of like a polo player not quite polo like this but just a niched up version of Dracar Noir if you're familiar with that DNA this is really great lavender and then otherwise really nice outdoorsy feel which I think captures the masculine aura of a father quite well and I think this is another safe one to go for because it just has this really clean soapy deodorant smell if you're planning on gifting it and then next, another one in the sort of soapy clean category. This one brings that atmosphere and a little bit of a fougere feeling to the Italian citrus genre. This was Aqua di Parma Essenzia. A recent pickup of mine and quick moving up the ladder of my favorite fragrances. This just is so easy to wear. It has this semi-sweet powdery feel going on from the Italian citrus signature that the Aqua de Parma Colonial line is known for, but then there's this really beautiful green, mossy, a little bit rosy sort of build up to a greenish fougere, not quite shaving foam-esque barbershop, but something that would put you in the mind state of a fern, which is what fougere means. And then, like I said, you just combine that with a powdery Italian semi-sweet citrus, and you, that's what you get here. A really awesome fragrance, especially for the price. You can usually find these 100 ml bottles for around $75, which makes this one another great gift option. But an otherwise really good green masculine, easy to wear fragrance for a father. And then the last two are the most niche, the most expensive. Um, but some of the ones that get the most positive attention and I did actually gift my father a clone of one of these fragrances once and that's going to be the number one in the list and coming at the number two spot we have Roja's Apex Parfum Pour Homme. This is, I haven't tried the cologne version but I hear it's pretty similar so you could probably pick that one up for a little bit less money but this is somewhat of a really beautiful fruit melange opening you kind of get a pineapple, orange and citrusy combination in a fruit salad sort of way and then it gets into this really aromatic mossy outdoorsy rugged green sensation drying down into a little bit of a creamy sandalwood love this fragrance because it does have that transitional take on a journey through the olfactive senses in the three tiers of the unfolding of the scent profile and this one has gotten me the most positive attention from women out of any fragrance that I have. Maybe not the most in terms of number of times. I would say maybe like Dylan Blue has gotten me uh, caught the attention there of, of women, but this one has gotten me people asking what it was, where they could buy it, looking it up, kind of ecstatic sort of reactions. Something that I think is a really great fragrance for a father too. It's versatile. You can be wearing it year round. It's got a lot of heft and command in the winter time. Something you can be dressing up because it is a little bit more regal, I would say. Awesome, awesome stuff from Roja Parfums. This is Apex Parfum. Don't be off put by the sort of Axe body spray presentation. I think this is a really awesome offering from the house. Really nice outdoorsy green. And speaking of that scent profile, Green Irish Tweed, which is what I 
gifted my father a tray nui once because he enjoyed the scent profile but this is a niche version of cool water and cool water being such a easy to like ubiquitous scent profile you can't go wrong getting this for yourself or gifting it to your dad positive attention from this one as well rarely do i wear it out without somebody commenting on it just clean green rolling hills a little bit of an ozonic feel like a watery cucumber going on from a violet leaf a slight powdery touch from some iris a little bit of a minty quality from spearmint that really gives it some effervescence and crispness just an absolute stunning fragrance i think a great signature for any dad just because that cool water dna much like the dracar dna or the aqua de Jo dna all have kind of defined the generation of those men coming up into the age group of father at the moment so those are my top 10 picks let me know if you've tried any of these if you think you agree with them and what your list would be in the comment section down below and as always i appreciate you sticking with me to the end of the video i'll see you in the next one take care